Hello everyone, I'm Miss Kim, the Director of Family Ministry at Claw Prairie Community Church in Lenexa, Kansas. And I'm so glad that you are joining me for this final week in our series, Main Event. And of course, you know our main event is Christmas and was Christmas, because honestly, we celebrated it a couple days ago, didn't we? But you know, I can't believe it's over. However, because Jesus, came to this world to die for our sins and then didn't stay dead and rise again, the story isn't over. The main event continues to go on and on and on for eternity. So let's go ahead and finish up our picture montages from this month. We can kind of go back and see how some of our friends were decorating and celebrating for Christmas. And then let's boogie to a song. participating in that. It's been so much fun seeing your faces every week in those pictures. They're so adorable. I love it. And I'm sure that all of you had just a wonderful time celebrating with your family the other day as well. So for next month, all right, guys, we're going back to the drawing board, so to say, and I'm asking for illustrators, all right? So if you want to draw pictures to illustrate our Bible story for each week, that would be amazing. We did this a few months ago, and some of you participated, and I would love for you to participate again. Or if you didn't, I would love for you to participate. Um, so on my screen here, you're going to see my email. I want you to pause the video, stop right now, have your parents email me if you want to be a part of our illustrations every week during the month of January. So do that now, so then I'll get you on my list and I'll get you the information that you need. All right, guys, so let's go ahead. We've been celebrating this month, all right? We've been celebrating. We have celebrated God's plan, his awesome, amazing plan. We have celebrated Jesus's birth and we have talked about ways that we can worship Jesus. So what is left for us to talk about? 
And honestly, we have two different stories to share with you. First, we're gonna watch our last, our final installment of our virtually Christmas play. And then we're gonna see what Carl has up for us, all right? Are you ready for this? Back to back, I'll see you on the flip side. When Jesus was born, a brand new bright star appeared in the sky. Some wise men in a faraway country saw the star and guessed what it meant. They were very clever men that studied the stars and had read in very old writings that a new star would appear when a great king was born. They set out to find the king and bring him gifts. The wise men followed the star towards the country of Judea. And when they got to the capital called Jerusalem, they began to ask people, where is the child who is born to be king of the Jews? Herod, the king of Judea, heard this and it made him very angry to think that someone might be going to take his place as king. Herod sent for the wise men to come to him. He told them to go on following the star until they had found the baby king. He said, when you have found him, let me know where he is so I can go and worship him. But Herod did not tell them that he really had an evil plan in mind to kill the new king. The wise men followed the star towards Bethlehem. It seemed to stop and shine directly down upon the place where Jesus was. The wise men entered the house and found Jesus with Mary. They bowed down and worshipped him. The wise men spread the gifts they had brought before Jesus. The gifts were gold, frankincense, and myrrh. The wise men were warned in a dream by God not to go back to Herod. So they returned home to their countries in the east by a different way. Joseph, Mary, and Jesus ended up living in Galilee in the town of Nazareth. That is where this story ends, but in the big story, it is only the beginning. Chicken Nuggets, it's me, Cassie, Carl. And I'm Cassie. Welcome to TV Grow, Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV! Hi, Cassie. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Great. Aren't you going to ask me how I am? I already did. You did? Huh. So what do you have there, Cassie? Well, I'm glad you asked. I kind of want to try a bit of a social experiment. Social experiment? What are you, a YouTuber? Now, what I'm going to do is place this Oreo right in front of you. Awesome! How did you know I didn't eat breakfast? No, no, don't eat it yet. Here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna leave this here in front of you. I'm gonna leave for 10 minutes, and when I get back, that Oreo's still in front of you, I'm gonna give you a second Oreo. Excuse me? <laughs> a second Oreo? Two Oreos? Oreo to the second power? Double dagger Oreos? That's the American dream. So what do you say? What do I say? <laughs> I say yes! I will not touch this Oreo. <laughs> I vow, nay, I promise. Do not touch this Oreo until you return. All right, see you in 10 minutes. See you in 10 minutes. You're an Oreo. <laughs> what are you doing? Yay! Maybe if I press it against my face long enough, <laughs> I can start tasting it. Nope. Alright, I'm back. Oh no, Carl. It's not what it looks like. 
you ate it? You promised you wouldn't. <laughs> it wasn't me. I'm not a, it was a burglar. A burglar? Yes, she was terrifying. And she was one of those burglars that just breaks into pla uh, to places just to eat sweet treats. <laughs> My Oreo didn't stand a chance. Oh. All right, I ate it, okay? It's not fair. You know it's my weakness. I figured that you'd eat it, but I didn't know since you promised me that you wouldn't. I know. Sorry. You probably believe that promise just like Simeon, huh? Simeon? What? You don't know about Simeon? Simeon's the best. Well, when Jesus was still a baby, his parents brought him to the temple. And there, they met Simeon. All right. Simeon was promised by God that he would meet Jesus, the Son of God, before he died. Wow, that's awesome. And it came true. It did. God kept the promise of Simeon. Wow, so is that all the story? Nope. There's a woman there named Anna. She was also really old. And she loved God a lot. So much that she almost never left the temple. She was always worshiping God. Wow, that's devotion. I hope I can be that faithful. <laughs> Me too. But when she saw Jesus, she came over and gave thanks to God. I get why they were excited to see Jesus. They knew he was the son of God. And babies are so cute. But they were really waiting outside the temple, waiting for Jesus to show up when they didn't know exactly when it would be? Yeah, and that's what makes Simeon and Anna so groovy. See, God's people have been waiting for a savior for hundreds of years. They knew God promised that the savior would come, but they didn't know exactly when. Simeon and Anna were among those who never gave up on God's promises, and they waited their entire lives. That's why they were both so excited to see that God had kept the promise, and Jesus was finally with them. Jesus was the main event. Main event? Yeah, Anna and Simeon were witnessing the moment when we see God keeping a promise through Jesus. That is super exciting. How does this story make you feel, Carl? What do you mean? Well, I hate to bring it up again, but you promised me something earlier and it didn't work, right? Yeah, unfortunately. I hate when promises get broken. Me too. But isn't it cool to see God's promises coming true? Wow, I guess you're right. I think there's something comforting, knowing that even though we break promises, God never will, and that makes me happy. Me too. I guess we can celebrate because God keeps promises. We sure can. And hey, that's our big idea. Oh. <laughs> what? Our big idea today is we can celebrate because God keeps promises. That's right, so let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. We can celebrate because God keeps promises. Yes, God does. God keeps the promises. I'm sorry, Cassie. I'm sorry I broke that promise and ate that Oreo. It's okay, Carl. It's really not that big of a deal. I know the experiment didn't work, but I want to give you the other Oreo anyway. Wait, it, it's gone. Did you? You know, so, when you said, like, this is your Oreo, I didn't, I just saw this on the table and I just figured you probably weren't going to eat it. You are just keeping it on the table. So I figured I just held myself to it. That's all. See you next uh, week, kiddos. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Road TV. Thank you, Carl and Cassie, and thank you to our cast of our Virtually Christmas Play. It's been so much fun watching you guys share that every week with us. But let's go ahead and process the part of the Bible story that Carl and Cassie shared. I have a couple questions for you, all right? Have you ever made a promise? I think most people probably have made promises, right? Have you ever broken a promise? Unfortunately, I'm sure most of us probably have. I know that when I was a little kid, I would make promises or use the word promise, you know, not really thinking about the weight that it carries and then only to find out that I couldn't keep that promise. I didn't really mean what I said or I found out that, you know, my mom said, oh no, you can't actually go do that or you can't buy that for somebody. And then I had to break my promise and that's never, never fun. And so in our Bible story have, that Carl and Cassie shared, there were a couple of people that, that were mentioned here, and their names are Simeon and Anna, and both of them were excited to have finally met the Savior. This is very important because God promised that he would send a Savior to save Israel, all right? And so we know, and they knew, 
that, that that was who Jesus was. He was the Savior, and he knew that Jesus was sent into this world to make good on the promise that God made to save the world and bring his people back into communion with him, into being with him. And that is really, really important. And of course, it's our big idea. So I know Christmas was a couple days ago, but let's get our jingle bells out. Do you still have your jingle bells? Let's get our jingle bells here. Let me grab mine and we are going to celebrate. Are you ready? Okay, celebrate with the jingle bells. Jingle bells. Big idea. We can celebrate because God keeps his promises. God keeps his promises and we know that and he's showed us that several times in the Bible but I think the biggest way we know Jesus came into this world and did what he did for us and that is amazing. So who are you going to share that amazing news with today? Who needs to hear that? It's really encouraging news to hear that God keeps his promises because a lot of times people can't. So I think you should think of someone to share that news with today because that will bring them some serious joy. Okay, everybody, it's that time of the session to end. And of course, I thank you for being with me, not only this week, but this whole month. It's been so much fun. And don't forget that next month we have a new series with some new hosts, and I want you to help us illustrate those Bible stories every week. So email me and get on that list to get connected and to be a part of that. It's super easy. It doesn't take very much time and you get to be a part in telling our Bible story. So don't forget also to go to our website, see the other videos we have for you there, the craft and everything like that. Check in on our YouTube channel and our Facebook page. Stay connected with us. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your December and a very happy new year. Before we go, Let's pray. God, help us to trust and celebrate you when we learn about your promises to us. Sometimes we may have a hard time seeing your promises. We know you keep your promises and we thank you for caring about us. In the name of Jesus, our Savior, we pray. Amen. All right, everybody, enjoy your week and I hope to see you soon. Bye. Story time by the fire. I just wanna hear.